Howdy folks, Gabriel here. I'm uh, in a little bit different location from where I usually um, record my videos. I'm still here in Jasper National Park, which is where I've been uh, living and working for the past number of months. But uh, I'm south, um, south down what's called the Icefields Parkway, Highway 93, here in uh, Alberta, Canada, which goes through the Rocky Mountains and connects Jasper National Park with Banff National Park. Uh, so I'm near the border of Jasper and Banff National Parks on uh, the, the peak of the, the mountains here basically, or not, not the peak of the mountains, but the, um, the saddle where the, where the road goes over. And there's a massive series of uh, glaciers called the Columbia Icefield up here, um, which is the headwaters for the Columbia River. And rivers from the uh, glaciers here flow into three separate oceans. So one, uh, the Columbia River flows into the Pacific Ocean. The Athabasca River flows north into the Arctic Ocean. And if I remember correctly, there's another uh, river that somehow makes it to the Hudson Bay. So uh, pretty uh, amazing spot here, spectacular views, very desolate as you can see. So uh, before I ramble on too much here, I'll get to the, the subject of this video, which is, can spiritual teachers be trusted? And um, it's a very good question that, that uh, anyone should ask. Any any uh, teacher, any leader, authority figure, whatever, should always be open to being questioned. And that's uh, a very important component. If you're going to um, act like you know something, then you should be open to being questioned on that as to the validity of that and you know why you should be trusted with that information and, and why people should follow your advice, etc. But um, I was having a discussion with a friend uh, earlier this morning, and we were talking about some different spiritual teachers that are out there. And uh, we were talking about Teal Scott and whether or not her, her story kind of adds up. You know, her, for anyone who's familiar with Teal, Teal Scott, then uh, her story is that she um, was a victim of a very extreme Mormon cult throughout her childhood, and she was, she was uh, ritualistically abused by this cult throughout her childhood. And so we were talking about, you know, how is she so clear and present now and how did she manage to be a model at one point, a professional skier, and um, like how does this add up with her childhood? And I'm not interested in, in picking a, her apart uh, uh, one way or another, but it just kind of brought up the uh, subject of, you know, uh, how much can you really trust people who are you know, claiming to have various powers and perception into reality and the spiritual path and, you know, reincarnation and, and how to work with energy and, and uh, you know, just how to, how to follow a, a spiritual path of, of um, you know, being in alignment and balance and, and how to deal with these different experiences that many of us are having, etc. And, um, a very important thing to keep in mind, in my view, is that nobody has the absolute truth. Um, so people shouldn't be looking for, you know, finally I found the person with all the answers. Um, as soon as you come to that conclusion, then, then you're going to be let down. Um, even though, you know, I've learned so much from various spiritual teachers that are out there, you know, the various books that I've read, Carlos Castaneda, the Pleiadians, Teal Scott, um, uh, you know, Swami uh, Kriyananda and Paramahansa Yogananda and blah blah blah, all these different uh, people who are offering different perspectives and there's some rocks falling down a uh, hill over here and um, personally, now one thing to keep in mind is how many people out there might be complete scammers? Uh, you know, for example, John Edward, not the, not the senator, but the guy who, who uh, claims to be in touch with uh, people who have passed on and um, be, uh, you know, speaking to people's dead relatives and whatnot and sending messages to them and everything. You know, that wouldn't be so difficult to, to duplicate as a complete scam, as a guy who's just good at reading people, who picks up on clues, asks you a few questions, and then gets kind of a feel for your history, and then says, oh, well, I'm, 
I have a message for you from your mother who died. You know, she's doing well, etc. Um, and and who knows? I, I have no idea. But my general feeling is is that there there really aren't many scammers out there um, in the spiritual community of uh, people who are claiming to you know have various abilities and powers and and um, to make that leap that this person is a diabolical liar who's constructed you know fabricated this whole reality um, that they constantly have to have to back up and defend and, and justify you know in order to make it look like they're they're you know the real thing and have you know your interest in heart and, and are uh, coming from a good place of just trying to help people um, I haven't come across anyone out there that, that to me feels like they're a total scam. So the, the point is, just to keep it in mind that nobody has the absolute truth. It's not, it's not about, you know, this person has it right, this person has it wrong. Um, it's it's a, a very, uh, you know, wide spectrum of perspectives, um, beliefs, you know, seeking to make sense of reality and there are lots of different people who are offering their points of view and so you know don't get too stuck and locked into you know is is this person right or not construct your own view of reality you know that's really what I'm doing is I, I've, I've just made a point of you know seeking out different spiritual teachers out there to get their perspective you know take what works for me, leave what doesn't, um, and ultimately come down to your perspective of, of reality is, is what matters to you most. And find what works for you and, uh, you know, what helps you move you along your path. And don't get too caught up in, you know, is this, is this person finally the, the deliverance from from illusion that we've all been deceived by, and this person finally is the guiding light that's going to take us out of out of here, the the Jesus or the Messiah um, that that has all the answers and can fill you in on truth. Take in these different perspectives. You know, these different people claiming to have, you know, a wider a wider view of reality or a window um, into into how things work. People who can speak with the we speak with the dead and, um, you know, see energy fields and, and remember their past lives and can tell you about your past lives and maybe they're right and maybe they're not. Um, so, uh, you know, it's really just a matter of, you know, seeking to understand reality as best as you can based in part on your own perception, based in part on other people's perception and always taking it with, you know, a grain of salt that, that uh, nobody has a lock on the truth and we're all just trying to make sense of reality here in our own individual, unique, subjective, weird, sometimes outright crazy experiences that we're having. Um, and it's important just to always come back to the, to the center of just, you know, being grounded in your heart and your gut and, and um, listening to your own truth filter your own bullshit detector and trusting your your instincts your intuition to guide you along the path you know that's ultimately what what you have to go with is your own perception your own um, you know your own perspective on the world around you and uh, make use of these other perspectives but don't rely on them as the ultimate truth um, of reality so uh, there you go thanks for watching take care